Hello everyone, hope you're all doing good. In this video I'll answer the question, what do all these different uh, approach types mean? Eyeless Zulu, Eyeless Yankee, Eyeless uh, X-Ray and so on. This is obviously a question I get asked a lot on my live streams since we are using approach charts for every landing and then naturally the question arises, hang on, why does the ILS, uh, for example, in Frankfurt 25 right have uh, charts which are named ILS Zulu? And then there's another chart for the same runway, the same ILS, and it actually is called ILS Yankee 25 right. So let's dive straight in. Uh, let's have a look at the mentioned approach charts here in Frankfurt. And so on the left hand side, you can see the ILS Zulu runway 25 right, while on the right hand side, you can see the ILS Yankee 25 right. Now this is an easy example because uh, you can see easily that the reason why they are called differently is because they actually have a different ILS frequency. Now the ILS Zulu 25 right has a frequency of 111.35 while the ILS Yankee 25 right has a frequency of 109.75. Also the final descent points have different names. 25 right Zulu has the descent point called Nibap and the ILS Yankee 25 right has a descent point called Edepu. And then you have a different glide profile. 25 right Zulu has a profile of 3 degrees, while 25 right Yankee has a profile of 3.2 degrees. Some other differences are, for example, that uh, 25 right Yankee does not offer cut 2 or 3 capability. Um, apart from that, we see the misapproach procedure is the same. And the category one minimum is also the same with 553 feet. Let's now for comparison, look at another approach type here in Frankfurt. Uh, this time the approaches into runway 07 right. And there we can see RMP Zulu runway 07 right. And on the right hand side, we see the RMP Yankee 07 right. So initially you can see we have a different uh, approach path. So from the initial approach fix to the final ascent point, uh, both of them are completely different. And uh, so the final ascent points are also different. One's called Ropsa for the Zulu approach and for the Yankee approach, it's called Bogvo. Some other differences show that uh, for the Zulu approach, you can use an LNAV VNAV minimum while for the uh, Yankee approach, there is only an LNAV approach available. So you can't fly a uh, descent with managed uh, descent mode. Also, you'll find a little note for the Yankee approach saying that uh, procedure should be used uh, between 23 and uh, 0500 local time by all RMP equipped aircraft. So these were some of the major differences between the RMP Zulu 7 right and the RMP Yankee 7 right in Frankfurt. So again, it's the same landing runway, uh, procedures based on RMP, but clearly some major differences between these two approaches. So let's now look at another example. This time we'll have a look at the approaches 3-5 right in uh, Milano, Malpensa. So here we have the ILS Zulu 3-5 right on the left hand side, and on the right hand side we have ILS Yankee 3-5 right. So here we actually have a procedure, ILS procedure, based on the same frequency, same inbound course. However, we can already see that something's different with the initial approach uh, towards the final approach fix. And on the other hand, we can clearly see that the misapproach procedure is completely different. Now, there are also some notes there in the center to tell you uh, about special requirements and so on. So again, same approach runway, same ILS uh, equipment, however, completely different procedures. So I could show you a hundred more charts like these and show you lots of differences um, for the same approach runway. But I think with these uh, three examples, I've demonstrated uh, already that um, even though they are named Zulu, Yankee, X-Ray and so on, um, the differences are not always the same. Sometimes it has to do with the descent angle, sometimes it has to do with the um, initial part of the approach, sometimes it has to do with the missed approach procedure, etc, etc, etc. However, what those letters do tell pilots is that uh, be aware um, for this approach runway, um, for this approach type, there are different procedures available. You need to take care 
um, listen to the ATIS um, or get the right approach uh, identifier from the uh, controller when you are doing the approaches. However, what you do find is that um, the most common approach type is named Zulu approach and thereafter um, follow the other approaches uh, backwards in the alphabet. So uh, Yankee, X-Ray and so on. That concludes the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, guys, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Happy landings.